today from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. We'll see Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Historic Lambeau Field. Fittingly, it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. set to boom this one away and off we go from Lambeau Keyshawn Nixon now going to bring it out of his end zone and up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25 so the Packers make their way out for the first time and it's Jordan Love that has the keys to the car here in his fifth season as a pro and second as a starter and Love established himself as a legitimate franchise quarterback a season ago. And let's not forget, he had to exhibit a lot of patience, waiting for his opportunity to become the man. And once he got that chance, he hit the ground running. The question now from the rest of the league, can he sustain that success? The Packers certainly believe he will. Love going to throw right away. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Adafi Owe showing off the pass rush skills. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Hey, let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. Ready. Gotta hope that's not a sign of things to come as they face an early second and long. Our first carry for the All-Pro running back, it's Josh Jacobs. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. A little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. To throw now, here's Love. Call that a loss of seven to bring up fourth. A loss of seven. It's fourth down. And here's Daniel Whelan on now to punt. Deontay Hardy back deep. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. So here's the first drive for the Ravens. And at the helm is the 2023 NFL Most Valuable Player. Second such time he's won the award, Lamar Jackson. 
And he's coming off a season where he showed everyone that he's worth every single penny he was given. He now has two MVP trophies on his resume and was on the verge of adding a Lamar Hunt trophy to go with it. Unfortunately, things didn't work out in his favor, but make no mistake about it. He's truly one of the most electrifying players in the NFL. As long as he's the man under center, they'll always be in championship conversation. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Jackson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but he did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Throwing is Jackson. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And he's not quite going to get to the marker. It'll be a gain of eight on third and ten. Brandon, it certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it. But it was third and long. And they were able to rally and stop it before he could get to the marker. Facing fourth down, Baltimore will punt. Jordan Stout out there. Jaden Reed is deep for Green Bay. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. <laughs> just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> They'll send the big tight end in motion right. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Stopped by the safety, Kyle Hamilton. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Here's second and five now from the 22. Working out of the gun, Love. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Love from the gun. To the right side and intercepted. Picked up by Brandon Stevens. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. So, Charles, our first points of the game provided defensively. What a play that was. And I can only imagine that the folks at home watching are thinking to themselves, that's one of those plays where once the ball leaves the quarterback's hands, you just sort of go, uh-oh, and wait for the result. This time, the defense benefited.
Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone. So this will be blown dead. And they'll move it up to the 40. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. It's Jacobs to start the drive. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or do they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Let's face it, when you have a guy who can pick up those types of runs and keep the chains moving or stay ahead of the chains, you're making everyone else on offense happy because you're opening things up to allow for a whole lot of different play calls. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Love. Short. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. Now throw there by Love, pulled in by Reed, and he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Here now, third and a yard. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he'll work down inside the 45. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Here's a second and eight. Now Love. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. 
they've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Love looking to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 23. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11 to pass. Here's Jordan Love. His throw incomplete. This defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Reed. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. So off goes Love. On is Carlson for the Packer field goal. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And this one is right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. There's the former Heisman winner. It's Derrick Henry. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes there's a little tread left on the tires. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. 
They keep it with Henry on first down. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Second down and four. Now it's Jackson. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. So first and 10 now from the 30. Jackson now. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. After the sack here, second and 11. From the gun, Jackson. He finds Aguilar over the middle. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Jackson. That's complete. It's Zay Flowers with it. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 14. It's a gain of 14 down to the 14. What a drive this has been. Just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Jackson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Was Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback? Gary puts him on the deck, and he's done plenty of that throughout his career, recording 24 and a half sacks over his last three years alone. And that's a number they expect to continue to grow. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good, and they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that, and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. ready to receive it and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half justice hill to return and he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line the raven offense set to start this third quarter and they've got the lead cd what do you think the message was at halftime I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Second half begins with a run by Henry. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. This defense tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get him for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Draw play. This is Henry. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's third and seven. Now Jackson. And that will be incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll kick it away for the second time. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. 
And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Okay, Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Adafe Owe so quick, and he gets to him there behind the line. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Pass caught, it's Romeo Dobbs. And that's good for a gain of six, third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Love. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Caught that look from me there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. down love to pass he has it complete to Christian Watson and he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds timing is everything and they work on this cut all the time they work on all the timing patterns and this time it paid off for them worked him to the center of the field cut it to the outside balls delivered gets both feet down for the completion they will throw again here with Jordan Love. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Throwing. Love. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 37. The third down conversion successful, a gain of 11. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Again, it's Love. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Second down, Love. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, love to throw. Being chased out left. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. 
No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. Down to the 25. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and nine. Now a give to Jacobs running right. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. And he is caught, and he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 13-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need, down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield, and when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Love now. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Here's Love. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, gonna be a good chance that any attempt is gonna be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. To the air again, Love. Musgrave's got it out right. Two yards on the pickup there. And it'll be fourth down. He got out of bounds. That's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play caller, grab your nerves. Because now, you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes. But you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. And his kick here is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. 
This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal in the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end and you still have the lead and they'll begin by running the option and he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25 yard line the fourth quarter here they've got the lead they want to keep it on the ground that's what they're doing smart football keep the clock grinding keep it going but you got to figure now they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive. But sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose. And just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. From the 43, here's a second and five. Again, it's Henry. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Well, not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Off the option, here's Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. A shotgun handoff to Henry. Powers through. And some space here. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. 10th carry now for Derrick Henry. And he has the Ravens first down, and it would appear that that's going to be the one to do it. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. 
And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they take a knee. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Inside handoff, Henry. And all the way down inside the five to the four. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330 pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. The Ravens taking a knee with victory seemingly in hand here. Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, the play of their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau.